Teltu! Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! <laughs> Better make it a good one then. Oh, wow! I feel even stronger than I did before! Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in! Go on! Take Piccolo and leave! Get as far away from here as you can! I can't afford to lose you! Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body. Yamcha, make sure Gohan's kept safe. I promise. Don't go dying on me! Who does this guy think he is? Waltzing up to me like it's nothing! As I thought, he's grown stronger after having his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved, he... I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever, too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. Uh, a way to do what? Before you guys got here, those aliens referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first! Ha! <laughs> you can save some time and attack all at once! Just another few bodies for the pile! <laughs> Guys! Don't do anything crazy! Right! Damn it! If only Yamcha were here too! Huh? Hey, where did Shotsu go? Just cause you can get back up again, doesn't mean you should! I don't know how exactly he was able to heal up so fast. And as I thought, Kakarot's strength has already increased. After all, his Saiyans grow more powerful every time we return to the brink of death. We have somehow known that about his heritage. 
Wait! <laughs> 